Hello, I'm Mark Tier. I'm the founder of uh, Black Spectacles, um, and I'd like to welcome all of you guys here today online and uh, here in person at SOM Chicago to today's uh, ARE webinar um, with Mike Newman and AIA Chicago on the Building Systems Exam. Uh, today's event is a collaboration with, you know, as you know, Black Spectacles, Mike Newman, and AIA Chicago's Young Architects Forum. So we'd like to, of course, uh, to thank uh, Joan, Laura, and Andre from AIA Chicago. Um, as well as our friends uh, from here at SOM, uh, including Rodrigo and everyone here who's helped make today possible. Um, today's free event is an extension of our online AIRI test prep curriculum uh, that we've built with AI Chicago and Mike Newman uh, to help you pass the ARE. Um, and if you haven't already seen our online ARE curriculum, you can head over to blackspectacles.com where we, you can find you know, free tutorials that will give you a taste of you know, of, of what we built, uh, which covers all seven of the exams in both the multiple choice questions as well as the vignettes. Um, and, and on the screen, you guys can see here um, a couple things. First of all, you can see um, a link to plug into the Young Architects Forum, other events. They have a really handy um, meetup page. Um, we'll also take questions via Twitter uh, if you send them to at, at Black Spectacles uh, with the ARE4 hashtag. Um, there's a link for our online curriculum. Um, there's also a link for our construction documents um, exam webinar, which is going to be our next one. Um, and for all of you who are here in person, we'll be sending out uh, a link to that um, so you don't have to worry. Uh, we'll send that out to you as well. And then um, let's see, as an attendee, uh, for all of you uh, to, of, of today's session, um, you're welcome to use a 15% coupon um, good for the first charge on any new membership on blackspectacles.com. That's uh, number six on the, on the website there. As I mentioned, our next webinar will cover the construction documents exam, so we'll be sending you a link. Um, and um, for those of you attending here in person, um, we will all meet uh, after this session downstairs. Where are my AI? Where are my Young Architects Forum folks? Um, on where are we going? The Gauge. Okay, so we'll be going to the Gauge um, for drinks to share AI war stories, um, and we hope that all of you online will uh, crack open your favorite beverage after our session as well. Um, we'll try to go for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Um, and then we'll leave about 10 or 15 minutes uh, for questions. And again, we'll take questions from everyone here in person. Um, and then also, if you're online, we'll use a GoToWebinar chat box, or again, via Twitter using the hashtag ARE4. Um, and you know, we'll queue up as many uh, questions as we possibly can for our session. <clears throat> So for those of you who don't know Mike, he's been an architect and teacher for almost 20 years in Chicago, working on a wide array of commercial and residential projects. Um, and he's taught everything from design studios to systems integrations to architectural theory. He's currently teaching at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and his practice is named Shed Chicago. He's also been teaching and coordinating seminars for the ARE since 2004, and of course, most recently with AI Chicago and Black Spectacles. So with that, I will hand it over to Mike. We're going to dive right in. First one we're going to sort of test out. The question is, uh, a step-down transformer has the following characteristics. It has a primary voltage of 240 volts. It has a primary current of 5 amps. It has a primary coil with twice as many turns, sort of rotations around uh, the, uh, the cores, uh, as the secondary coil. What is the current and voltage on the secondary side of the transformer, neglecting any power losses? So first of all, every time you have a transform, every time you, you transform energy from one voltage to another, there's always a little bit of power loss. That's for the purposes of the exam, for the purposes of any of this kind of stuff would always be neglected because it just gets too specific and complicated. So the key thing to take away from uh, this discussion is the sort of a basic tenant to uh, how you think about volts, amps, and watts. And the simple thing is volts times amps equals watts. So what that's referring to is, uh, and I'm putting this into my own terminology, this is not necessarily the most technical way of describing it. If you think of volts as the energy per charge, and then amps as the flow of those charges. So it's just the easier way to kind of imagine these things. They're, they're related to each other, but they are not the same thing. One is about the, the charge moving through, the other one is how uh, robust that charge is. Uh, and then that equals watts, which is power. So the ability to do work. 
Now, one of the weird things about uh, this discussion for most of us is that most of us grew up thinking of watts in relationship to light, um, that you think of a 100 watt bulb or a 60 watt bulb, and it's about the amount of light that comes from that. That's actually just sort of a happenstance from history. Uh, and as incandescent bulbs go away, it'll become even more and more a happenstance of history. Uh, the reason that we think of that is just because when you put more power into the light bulb, uh, it gives us more light. And so it's just a representation of power, of the ability to do work. So watts doesn't have anything to do with lights. It's just power. Uh, volts and amps are the way that we think about that. So we have this very straightforward, simple relationship, volts times amps equals watts. So given that, we look at our options. Option A is 10 amps at 240 volts. Option B, 5 amps at 240 volts. Option uh, C, 5 amps at 120 volts. Uh, and option D, 10 amps at 120 volts. If we think about this, all this is really asking us is do we understand that volts times watts, to volts times amps equals watts. The power doesn't change. You're not changing the total power that the, the, the transformer isn't magically making new more power, right? There's the same amount of power on either side of the transformer. What's being transformed is the voltage and the amps, the flow and the, the um, amount of energy per charge. So essentially, 5 times 240, which would be equal to the watts, that has to be the same. We have to have the same number out of our end choice. So if we look at 10 times 240, which would be A, well, that's going to be twice as much. It's not, that's, that's twice as much watts. doesn't make any sense. Uh, 5 times 240, um, again, well, we haven't transformed anything. So B can't be it because why would you have a transformer that doesn't transform anything? Uh, C, 5 at 120, we've actually cut the, watts in the total watts in half if we chose C. So the actual answer would be D, 10 amps, at 120. And that's simply because 10 times 120 uh, is equal to the same thing as 5 times 240. Right? You can tell the fact that the primary coil and the secondary coil, there's a, there's a 2 to 1 ratio of the coils. Uh, and that 2 to 1 ratio tells you that either, depending on whether it's the primary going to the secondary or the secondary going to the uh, primary, uh, that tells you that it's going to be either half uh, the amps or double the amps, and half the volts or double the volts, right? There's other ways that the, the coils can be dramatically different. You can go from very, very low amps to very, very high amps. Um, but typically, in a question like this, it'll be a fairly simple, straightforward one, something like that. So the simple issue here is volts times amps equals watts. That's the sort of... Uh, um, energy that each of those charges carries, and then how many of those charges per second would be the amps, and then the total work that you can get out of that, which is the watts. And this is just a, a description of that, right? So the transformers, the thing they, they can't transform the total power, what they can transform is the flow of that power, and the so the amperage and the, the voltage of it. Today's ARE Live episode is an extension of our online ARE curriculum that you can find on blackspectacles.com, the home of online learning for architecture and design. If you need to prepare for the ARE, which I assume many of you guys do, and if you're looking for a good way to study for the exam that's more flexible and easier to digest than the traditional exam prep materials, and head over to blackspectacles.com to try out any of our free ARE video tutorials that are taught by tonight's presenter, Mike Newman. As an attendee, and as you can see here on the screen here, we have a couple of notes or information for today's episode. Any Anyone who is attending today's session, you're eligible to use this coupon code worth 15% off the first charge on your individual membership. If you're one of those folks who would like for your firm to purchase Black Spectacles access for you and your colleagues, just visit blackspectacles.com slash business, which is this fourth link here, and we'll send all the information for your firm to get set up. And also from now until the 15th of next month, firm memberships are 15% off if you mention this episode when you submit your form through blackspectacles.com slash business. Also on this, you'll see that our next webinar will be on May 27th with Mike at 6 o'clock. So if you'd like to register for it, here's the registration link. We're still firming up the details and the actual topic. So if you have any suggestions and would like Mike to cover a specific topic or would like us to interview someone in particular about a specific topic, please let us know. 